What up guys, Josh from Strength Side here. Today we're gonna to talk about ankle mobility, okay? So ankle mobility is very important. If you're running, if you're jumping, if you're squatting, even if you're walking, okay? To have that proper ankle mobility is gonna let you produce the force and the power um, to do the things that you wanna do correctly, okay? So a lot of people lack this dorsiflexion and one way that we can test to see if you are uh, lacking some ankle flexibility is just to do a squat test here, okay? So, let's stand up, let's get those feet nice and straight, they can be a little slightly out, and we wanna squat down and keep those feet nice and straight here, okay? Now if you squat down and your feet start to turn out and we get here, well, that's your ankle making up for some of the flexibility that you're missing, okay? Because your ankle can't do this dorsiflexion here, so it has to turn out to give you know, your body somewhere to sit down on, okay? So, we wanna fix this, especially if, uh, if you have a big problem there, right? If you walk and your feet turn out a little bit, then you have this problem. So, we're gonna do a couple different things um, it's gonna be a progression here. We'll start with the easiest first. And first thing, we'll work on this left ankle. Just gonna grab something to support you, and we're gonna sit down into that squat position, okay? So now that we're here in the squat position, you got your support. We are going to take our weight, we'll work on this left ankle. We're gonna shift all our weight down on the ankle here. Woo. And what we're looking to do here, drive this knee through this toe, okay? Don't let this knee cave in at all. Keep it out over the toe, going straight down. We're looking to decrease the, this angle right here, right? We want this to close up, and we're gonna work on getting some more of that dorsiflexion, all right? So you can hold this one minute, two minute, as long as you can, really, just to make some type of changes in there, okay? So, next one, we're gonna take a band. So, you're gonna wrap this right around your butt here, Get some tension on the band, same thing. We're gonna squat down into a good position and we'll work on this left ankle again. We're gonna get all our weight shifted down on here now. So now that we're not supporting ourselves on this, now we got a little bit more weight going down onto this ankle, but we're still supported by the band so we can kind of hang out here without it totally just gassing us, right? And we feel like we're had a workout after. So hang out here again, a couple minutes, make some changes, um, you know, work on the ankle that is giving you problems. Um, and we'll move to the third one, which this one is gonna be the hardest one, but it's also gonna be the best, okay? So we're gonna grab some type of weight. I got a 25 pound kettlebell here. You can grab a plate, a dumbbell, anything you want. And we're gonna sit down into the squat position again. Boom, and same thing, we'll keep going on this left ankle. We are going to shift our weight onto this left side and really drive down into that ankle there, okay? So, wanna hold this again. Um, healthy ankles, you know, that good range of motion throughout your ankle, it's gonna allow you to do all the stuff that you wanna do. So don't neglect the ankles. A lot of time we jump to the hip or the knee, all that musculature. Think about the ankles as well, okay? Try this out, guys. Let me know how it works. I'll see you next time. Deuces.